As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the town square, the air was thick with anticipation. The annual literary festival was in full swing, a celebration of words and stories, yet beneath the surface lay a darker tale. Penelope Page, a young detective with a keen eye for detail, stood outside the vintage theater, her heart racing. The murder of the beloved author, Edgar Linton, had cast a pall over the festivities. The final manuscript, a cryptic puzzle, was the key to unraveling the mystery. Inspector Harold Grant, a seasoned investigator known for his methodical approach, approached Penelope. His trench coat flapped in the brisk evening breeze, a testament to the urgency of their task. We need to speak with Clara Finch again, he said, his voice steady yet urgent. Clara, the elderly librarian, had mentioned a hidden chapter in Linton's manuscript. It was a clue they could not afford to ignore. Together, they set off towards the library, the weight of the investigation pressing down on them. The library was a sanctuary of knowledge, its walls lined with shelves of old books, the scent of polished wood filling the air. Inside, the dim light cast a warm glow over Clara Finch, the elderly librarian. Her frail figure was hunched over a desk piled high with papers, a testament to her dedication. Inspector Grant and Penelope approached, their footsteps echoing softly in the quiet room. Clara, we need your help, Grant said, his voice a blend of authority and empathy. Clara looked up, her eyes wide with fear. I. I found it tucked away in the back of his typewriter, she confessed, her voice trembling. The hidden chapter spoke of betrayal, of someone close to Edgar Linton. It was a revelation that sent a shiver down Penelope's spine. Who was it about? She pressed, leaning closer. Victor Hale, Clara whispered, her voice barely audible. The name hung in the air, a specter of jealousy and resentment. Grant exchanged a glance with Penelope, the pieces of the puzzle clicking into place. They had a new suspect and time was of the essence. As they left the library, the wind howled through the streets, carrying with it the whispers of secrets long buried. The investigation was reaching its climax, and with each step, Penelope felt the weight of the truth pressing down on her. Victor Hale, a man driven by jealousy, had become their prime suspect. If he had access to the manuscript, he could have had a motive for murder. The urgency of the situation was palpable, the need for resolution driving them forward. Penelope and Grant moved with purpose, their minds racing with possibilities. The confrontation with Hale would be crucial, a chance to uncover the truth and bring justice to Edgar Linton. As they approached Hale's residence, the tension was electric, the air charged with anticipation. The case was far from over, but they were closer than ever to solving the mystery. Stay tuned to Storyteller for the next chapter in this gripping tale of intrigue and deception.